Hey guys, welcome back to this place. If you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen, and today we are delving back in to Dark. This is the season one finale, episode 10. I cannot believe that once I watch this episode, I will officially be a third of the way through the entire story. It honestly makes me really sad because I just absolutely adore this show and I think it's so fun to watch and try to figure out what's going on and even though I'm probably horrible at it, I still enjoy attempting. <laughs> so. Last time on Dark, we had a lot of stuff and I need to mention it real quick just for myself because it's been a little bit since I watched this because I took some time off for Thanksgiving, went to see my family and also got a little sick. So we'll see. We'll see like how much my brain remembers. So last time we discovered that what is happening with the Blue Room is in fact Padre Noah and Helgi. Um, they are working together, although again, I I think that Helgi is being manipulated by Padre Noah and he's taking advantage of him due to, you know, all the shit that he's spewing at him basically, right? So he talked about he's trying to build a time machine and they're going to like write everything in the world or something. And so that's why he's killing kids. You know, people always find some sort of justification for horrific acts. So that's kind of what I think that is. He made a horrific Noah's Ark joke that I can't even. Um, so I don't even think Noah is his real name, by the way. Uh, I did have a theory that he could be Ulrich's grandfather, Trunt's dad. I also have a theory that Agnes killed Trunt's dad because he was an asshole. Conflicting theories, possibly. <laughs> uh, we also learned a little bit more about Alexander, aka Boris, and his backstory and his and Regina their sort of how they met and started interacting and fell in love. I actually think that their relationship seems to be very pure, so I really like them. We also have Agnes and Doris with, you know, some sapphic vibes, which I'm completely and totally here for, so sign me up. I would captain the ship. Uh, Claudia and the machine blueprints are very interesting that she gave to Townhouse, Townhouse, um, and Bartosh is with Padre Noah, which is very concerning. And also Hannah has a gun, which is deeply concerning because I do not trust that woman at all. Zero percent, zero percent trust in her. We also have Ulrich stuck in 1953. So I think that that is a quick little recap to get my brain back in the mode for the show and hopefully you know if it's been a bit since you watched it you know more where we are in the story i'm gonna stop talking now though and let's get right into this i was not expecting that it's like the serenity prayer right Um, excuse me? What the fuck is that? That's Mads, right? through a portal in the fucking wall? Trude. 
Okay. Ich bin's, Peter. Ich... Es, es gibt hier was, was du sehen solltest. Es, es geht um deinen Sohn. Nein, nein, nicht, nicht Ulrich. Okay, so... Mats. Mats. I am... This is probably why he had blood on his... His sweater. Oh. Jesus. I can't even... Like, how, like, fucking confusing would that be, too? Because it's been 33 years. I mean, he literally was. He just shot through a fucking portal in the wall. He's, he's dead, bud. I'm sorry. No, I don't want to see this. It's going to make him cry. It's going to make him cry. Nope. It's already getting me. Mm-mm. Oh, is it gonna be fucking Padre Noah? That fucking psycho creep ass bitch. Oh, it's Claudia. Never mind, sorry, Claudia. <laughs> what is she gonna say? Pronta. Pronta. Sorry, I was trying. Yeah, ma'am, there is. Aber vorher müssen wir Mats an den Ort bringen, wo er gefunden werden soll. Okay, so she's left the future. She's been to the future, then, right? What the f fuck is happening? Oh. I thought he was still in 1953. Did he come back? Or did he not? I can't remember. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she knew. I mean... Is she gonna show him the letter? He's already read it, right? Das ist unmöglich. Was? Ich habe ihn verbrannt. You burned a different one. Ich wusste nicht, dass sie sich das Leben nimmt. Aber du hättest Mikkel retten können. Aww. Ich habe jetzt noch eine Oma und die ist Direktorin an meiner Schule. Ihr Mann, der nebenbei meine Mutter fickt, sucht seinen Sohn, der mein Vater ist. Ja. Wollt mal sagen, hab ich meine Tante geküsst. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, 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 ja. Und das Krasse ist. Du weißt, das schief läuft, das sind nicht die. Die sind okay. Okay. Was da schief läuft, bin ich. Well, I don't think you are. I don't think you're wrong. Das sind die Dinge, egal wie unnormal und wie seltsam sie uns erscheinen, aus einem Grund passieren. Wer sind wir, Gott zu spielen? Die Vergangenheit ist die Vergangenheit. Aber du, du lebst im Jetzt. But he can also. Weiß, was die Zukunft bringt. He can go into the future, probably. Ein Mensch oder ein Schmetterling? Vielleicht bin ich beides. Ich kann erinnern, dass das alles passiert, aber dafür muss ich raus hier. Bro, yeah, that's not convincing. Das ist einfach so passiert. Ich wollte wirklich... Was wolltest du nicht? Mich sitzen lassen? Mich anlügen? Mit meiner Freundin rummachen? Du bist ein krankes Stück Scheiße! Genau wie dein Vater. Oh, what's not fight? Lass mich hier nie wieder 
blinken mig. Der er You can't tell him to not come back to school in the tiny ass town you all live in. It's probably the the one school. Könnte man den Beginn und das Ende einer Sache gleichzeitig betrachten? That's crazy. Und warten Sie? Is that the one he built for uh, Claudia? Dieses oh. Ding hier. Das A phone. Sendet eine Art Signal. Einen elektromagnetischen Impuls. Als wollte es mit etwas kommunizieren. Und jetzt schauen Sie sich das mal an. Dieser Block hier hat sich nie gedreht. Er war in den Bauplänen, aber ich wusste nie wofür. Dieses Ding kommuniziert mit dem Apparat. Nicht nur die Vergangenheit beeinflusst die Zukunft. So future Auch die Zukunft the beeinflusst die Vergangenheit. Verstehen Sie? Verstehen. Hätten Sie mir nicht gezeigt, wie der Apparat in der Zukunft aussieht, hätte ich ihn nicht so bauen können. Ah, okay. Paradoxon. Ja. Yeah. Und diese Einlassung, die gab es auch nicht. Keine Ahnung, wozu die gut sein sollen. What the fuck is that? Was ist das? Das war einfach so. 137 CS. Is that from the power plant? Radioaktives Isotop von Celsius. From the power plant? From the barrels? Is that what he got from the barrels? Der Apparat erzeugt ein Higgsfeld. Field. Das die Masse des Cäsiums potenziert, die durch einen elektromagnetischen Impuls zu einem schwarzen Loch implodiert. A black hole. It creates a black hole. Das gleiche muss bei dem Störfall im AKW passiert sein. Verraten Sie mir, wie es ist in der Zukunft. Ich hoffe, morgen schon anders als heute. Oh, okay. So, it's bad, right? Like, I think he said it was bad before. Kann ich Ihnen helfen? He is you. In 33 years. Oh, weird, weird. Wollen Sie zu mir? Ja. Du musst aufhören. Womit oh. muss ich aufhören? Er nutzt sich aus. Yes, Alles, yes. Alles, was er verspricht, sind oh. Lügen. Padre Noah, right? Ich glaube, Sie verwechseln mich. No, I don't think he is. Ich glaube, Sie verwechseln mich. Das habe ich schon mal gesagt. Ja. Yeah. Alles, was Noah sagt, ist eine Lüge. Ja. Yeah. Er ist nicht auserwählt. Du bist nicht auserwählt. I knew he was manipulating him. Bösen retten. No. Ist das böse. Yeah, he's just killing kids and justifying it by saying. Ist der Tag. He's gonna help. Der Anfang und das Ende. Mach nicht dieselben Fehler wie ich. Mach nicht dieselben Fehler wie ich. Du musst aufhören. Du musst aufhören! But does he listen to himself? Because if they already had this conversation before, then, and it went this exact same way, then presumably he's gonna do the same thing now that he did then to become the him that he is now. Ich muss aufhören. Right? Alles, was sie gesagt hat, ist in den letzten acht Tagen passiert. Genau so, wie es hier steht. Okay. Und warum sind dann die Hälfte der Seiten rausgerissen? Nach heute ist alles neu. I mean, you, if she changes the past, then none of that would happen. So, like, you wouldn't be there to remember that the things were different. Wer ist der Nächste? Did you not just tell yourself to stop? Jonas kann bald. No! 
Oh no, I like Jonas. Oh, do they have a picture? <gasps> Is it gonna be a picture? Oh, yes. There you go. She's figuring it out. Charlotte. Well, she has no idea how to get back, so that doesn't really help. <gasps> oh no, 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 fuck, fuck, get away from him. Jonas, Jonas, get away from him. Jonas, get away from him. Isn't he? Dude, run. No, no, no. He's a fucking psychotic creep. Warum haben Sie mich eingesperrt? Das war nicht ich. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. Wo bin ich? Das hier. Creepy priest guy. Das hier ist eine Art Prototyp einer Zeitmaschine. Und du bist das Versuchskaninchen. Let him out. Du wirst diesen Brief fast 33 Jahre bei dir tragen, bevor du ihn weitergeben wirst. An dich selbst. It is him. <gasps> I was right. Ich bin du. It was only like my 18th guess. Traum. Ich hab dir diesen Brief geschickt. Und das okay. Ich sagen mir. Alles, was du erlebst, habe ich bereits erlebt. Okay. But why are you... Ich hab Brief verbrannt, genauso wie du, und habe ihn von unserer Großmutter wiederbekommen. Ich habe sogar dieses Gespräch hier schon mal geführt, nur war ich damals auf der anderen Seite. Okay. How do you remember exactly what the other you said? Sind wir nicht. Wir folgen dem immer gleichen Pfad. Wieder und wieder und wieder. Das ist verrückt! Das macht überhaupt keinen Sinn! Du kannst dich jetzt entscheiden, mich hier freizulassen! True. Ich habe lange gedacht, das ist verrückt. Ich bin verrückt. Oh. What? Aber ich kann dich nicht herauslassen, weil du dann nicht zu dem wirst, was ich heute bin. Verändere ich jetzt meine Vergangenheit, verändere ich auch meine Gegenwart. Und dann kann ich dieses Loch nicht ein für alle Mal zerstören. Oh, but, but how do you destroy it once... Martha geküsst. Wir sind nicht frei in dem, was wir tun. Weil wir nicht frei sind in dem, was wir wollen. Wir kommen nicht an gegen das, was tief in uns ist. Stop. Stop. Oh, bitte. I don't think there's a normal. 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 I but he says it's the only way to close the hole but how do he but if he's doing this and he's like stuck in this cycle of like this Jonas is gonna become that Jonas and he's gonna have to do it then isn't it not closed if the cycle is still cycling That's different. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh wait, no, it's not different. There was an accident, right? Right? Uh, Peter said that, I feel. Is it old Helgi? <gasps> is that what it was? Oh, it's all playing out just like it has before, right? I bet it's old Helgi. I bet it's 2019 Helgi. Trying to stop this one. Yeah. Der ältere Jonas. 
Jonas wird das Loch zerstören, aber was er nicht weiß, ist, dass er der Auslöser dafür sein wird, dass es überhaupt existiert. Ein Paradoxon. Das Cäsium in seiner nutzlosen Maschine ist nicht dafür da, das Loch für immer zu vernichten. Dafür da ist überhaupt erst. That's why I said, aren't they still stuck in the ja, fucking hole? Aber Claudia hat ihn belogen. Die Claudia. meisten Menschen sind nur Bauern auf einem Schachbrett. Why did she lie? Geführt von fremder Hand. Die leben nur dazu, da geopfert zu werden für ein höheres Ziel. Wirklich unmenschlich, das sind die anderen. You literally murder children, sir. Alles menschliche verloren. Zum Schatten. Who? Deine Who? Großmutter Claudia gehört zum Schatten. What? Vertrau ihr niemals. What? Egal was sie dir erzählt. Jonas hat ihr vertraut und er wird ihr wieder vertrauen. Jonas denkt, er wird alles verändern. Dabei ist er nichts als ihre Marionette. Er hat es nicht anders verdient. Why? Was bei dir? Are we gonna be like go into the future or are we gonna like stay here? They see each other. Oh. It's cool. It's, all, it's like the the Michelangelo, right? We saw this bit when he's in the room, right? All right, you guys, so that was a hell of a first season of Dark. I am confused and also like somewhat fall. I wonder, are we not going to see any more from 1953 now that we went into the future? Is that like storyline done with? Is like 1986 done with? Is 2019? Like, how are we going to... Like, what is season two going to bring us? Is it gonna be, is it 2052 around there, based off my quick, probably bad math? Um, is it like, are we gonna stay there? Are we gonna go from there to 2019 to, what will be 33 years, 85, 2085? Like, how far in the future are we? What is the deal with Claudia and Padre Noah. I am very confused about like his whole <sighs> spiel to Bartosh, like about light and dark. And we had like something about the Antichrist earlier in the season. And although now he's also telling Helgi that like God doesn't exist so I don't really know what he believes but he said there's like a war between light and shadow and they are on the side of light and Claudia is on the side of shadow and even though 
Jonas thinks that he's actually closing the hole. He's not. And he's actually the one who creates it, which is like, it does lead credence to the idea that Claudia is not what we think that she is because it also, here's the thing. I don't understand why Jonas doesn't think that it doesn't make sense that if that happened to him when he was a kid and then he grew up and he did that, why he thinks like he should do it again because clearly wouldn't that prove that the older version of you didn't succeed and you're still suck stuck in this like cyclical cycle, right? Like would, would that not be enough proof for you that what he did didn't work? Like once you became old enough to be him. Right? Or is Claudia actually like that good at manipulating a situation? I don't know. It's hard for me to think <laughs> that Padre Noah is truly the good guy in the situation, even though what he's saying kind of makes sense. But he literally murdered children. And it like I have trouble thinking that that guy who murdered children and justified the murder of children could in any way be like the good guy in the situation. So not sure about that. It's interesting to me that old Helgi chose the path that he chose because surely he would remember getting in the accident and would know that he survived the accident and would realize that that didn't actually change anything. Like surely he would remember that that is the same course of events that happened before that didn't actually affect things, right? Um, I also just think it's interesting because I thought for sure that Peter was doing something super creepy and shady this whole season because of just the anxious, strange way that he acted the entire season. And I don't think that he was like, he just, he, like he was acting strange before the portal opened and Mad's dead body came out of it. So I think that he, it's interesting because he said the serenity prayer, which is very um, prevalent in like AA and NA and stuff like that. And so it makes me think like, does he think that his feelings for men are something that is like an addiction and that he needs to like purge himself of? Because I don't think that we heard anything about him being alcoholic or having any trouble with narcotics so all I can think is that like he he thinks that that's an issue and that kind of makes me sad for him that he can't accept that part of himself and love it I mean maybe I'm just reaching but again I, I don't know why else he would be saying that after going to the parking lot where he had previously had the affair with the person of the night, you know? So also it is, it's interesting that we find out that Peter and Trant were both like, so when he came through the portal, they put him where he was supposed to be, which explains why the blood was on Trant's uh, sweater. And then Claudia told them everything that was going to happen. And then it did, right? So I'm curious as to like what happened after that in 2019. Because 
presumably if we're in 2052 or even further in the future, then we don't exactly know what happened. Again, maybe next season we'll travel back and forth again. So that would be interesting. And then we'll find out. Um, I thought the Yoing, Youngs, Youngs, I'm trying to remember how they said it, uh, paradox was interesting. Like the idea, here, let me look it up. Anyway, I thought that the idea of the, like, her son fell asleep and dreamt they were a butterfly and then they didn't know if they were a butterfly dreaming they were a person or a person dreaming they were a butterfly. I think that that's a really interesting way to sort of bring everything into perspective because this whole thing is kind of a, a booch. Is it bootstrap paradox? I already looked this up earlier in the season, but I want to say that that is what it is. Yeah. So like this whole thing is sort of like a bootstrap paradox, which is, you know, when like somebody goes back in time and then creates the loop of time, which therefore you can't really tell like when time, like when the event happened that, the initiating event that created the paradox, right? Like if you go back in time and save your mom, and then your mom is around and says, like, did you always go back in time? You know what I mean? It's, it's, I explained that horribly, but <sighs> yeah, I thought that that was a cool thing. Um, I feel bad for Ulrich if he dies in 1953 because of what he did to Helgi, just because even though I think it's really fucked up that he did that, I also think that his intentions were actually to save lives like he thought that all these people including his son would be alive even though we know that Mikkel actually doesn't have to do with the other disappearances um I feel bad that Ulrich went through that also like police brutality not a thing like not illegal in 1953 Germany just you know just just curious Oh, we also found out that Birdman is in fact Jonas, which I do think was one of my many guesses. I don't know if I can really count being like, yeah, I called that because I also guessed he was like multiple other people. So yeah, maybe I'll claim it anyway, right? You know, I, I gotta take my wins <laughs> in this because I'm not gonna figure out a lot of stuff. But yeah, it's really cool that he is him, but also I'm just a little confused still because I just, I don't know who to trust and who to believe and who to think what about in this show, you know? I'm glad that Charlotte is sort like did sort of figure everything out. Although I don't know that it actually matters that she did especially if we're never gonna or if we're not gonna go back to 2019 you know I, I just I don't know also still don't trust Hannah having a gun Hannah however you say it do not trust her having a gun okay still concerned about it worried about Bartosh and like what role he's gonna play and how his how Padre Noah's manipulations of him are going to hurt him you know because I don't trust Padre Noah like there is like the sinister music when he's on screen. I like, there's just something so inherently untrustworthy about him. Like, even though I know that whatever Claudia told Jonas was wrong and didn't work because he's going to be stuck in that cycle again, or at least I think I also like, still trust her more than Padre Noah. Not sure why, but it's true. Uh, it's interesting that this there's this idea of light and shadow. I, just, I don't know what it means. I'm just gonna have to keep watching to, to figure it out. And I'm really curious as to just like where we're gonna go from here because I feel like most of the, the mysteries of season one, not all, of course, 
but a lot of the mysteries of season one were sort of wrapped up a little bit. So I'm curious to get on to season two and see what new mysteries are going to be unfolding. Like obviously there's still a lot of stuff that's happening that we don't know that like we don't have answers for like Jonas and this black hole and this whole light and dark and like how the future got fucked up and how we're supposed to change that and how Padre Noah comes into this, how Claudia comes into this, how Jonas comes into this, how Bartosh comes into this. Like there's still so much left for us to sort of figure out and to see unfold. So I'm really curious to watch that happen. But there's also so many like puzzle pieces that got put together in that last episode that I'm really excited to get to see come to fruition. I also really hope that we're not completely done with like 1953 or even 1986 because I do think that there's more story there that I would like to see like Agnes and Doris like I want to see what happened with the tree that night with Regina I want to see what's happening with Regina and Alexander and everybody like that so I, like, I want to see these characters like Marta Magnus like Francisca, like all these stories, I want to see how they play out. So I do hope that we continue to jump through time and sort of put the pieces together. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's all that I have to say about this episode. There's probably stuff I missed, but like, yeah, I'm excited. I cannot wait to see next season. If you want to watch episode one of season two right now, you can over on Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube. You can also watch my entire full length reaction to this episode and every single episode thus far of Dark over there as well. I hope to see you guys next week for more Dark season two. Let's go! Until then. Bye guys! <laughs>